Okay, so in this video here, we'll be looking at example five, and this is from lesson 13, um, looking at the um, sketching, um, sketching functions, basically, and using key points, like minimums, maximums, horizontal points of inflections, and vertical points of inflection. Now, this question here is using the double div test again, and we have a stranger function, y is equal to 2x plus 6 on x. Clearly showing you, using your use of calculus, determine the exact coordinates of any stationary points on the curve y is equal to 2x plus 6 on x, and use the secondary derivative test to determine the nature of each. So here we go. Um, we are looking for stationary points again, so we're trying to find when dy by dx is zero, so let's differentiate this thing. First step, if we have an x on denominator, let's bring it up and make it a negative indice, and then we can differentiate dy by dx is two plus, no it's not, it's take 6x the negative 2. Okay, now while I'm here, I'm also going to find the double derivative because I know I'm going to have to find it later, so we might as well just find it now. Okay, so it's going to be positive 12x the negative 3. Okay, now it might be worth writing these as positive index form as well sometimes. Whenever you're subbing in values, you'll find that this will be easier to work with. Okay, so I've just written those out in positive indices as well. So we've done that there. Now we need to find these stationary points. So we need to use, and I'll call this equation 1, 2, and 3. We need to use equation 2 here and plug dy by dx as being 0 to find a stationary point. So here we go. Now, a uh, little trick. I think we remember this one. Times it all by x squared. Okay, next let's rearrange. Okay, so it looks like we found our coordinates x is equal to plus or minus root 3. Okay, so these represent the uh, possible um, x values of our stationary points. Okay, so what are we meant to do next? Well, We've found those coordinates, um, that, that, that value. Now let's see the nature of that and then we'll find the coordinates. Okay, so this is finding the um, stationary point. Okay, now over here I'm going to go finding the nature of each of these. Okay, so let's do x is equal to root 3. And over here we can go, in fact, we'll just do one by one, okay? So let's find the nature of this one here. We're going to use our double diff equation and we're going to plug it in. Now, in this case here, it's going to be in the end 12 on 3 root 3, which becomes uh, 4 on root 3, or you can write that as 4 root 3 on 3. Now, in the main thing, all we know, all we need to know is that this is positive. Okay, so this answer is positive. Now we can go back to our summary table. We know that the gradient was zero and that the double div was positive. We know this is therefore a local minimum. Okay, so we can say that we've just found a, it's a local min for x is equal to root 3. Let's do the same for x is equal to negative root 3. We do the same thing, chuck it in. Cubit, out comes 12 on, and this is just going to be negative 3 on root 3, and this will go to negative 4 on root 3. So we can see that this answer is going to be negative. Okay, therefore we found a local maximum. So now we've found our nature of our points, we've found the stationary points, we just need to find that as a coordinate, okay, and this is going to finish it off, okay. Now it does say exact coordinates, so therefore we have to plug in that positive root 3 and negative root 3 into our original equation, equation 1, okay. So let's plug that in now. <clears throat> so uh, let's do it for x is equal to root 3, here we go. Uh, we've got 2 plus 12 on root 3 all. Um, just going to double check my value. It's just on root 3, right? Yeah. 
Um, so we're just plugging into the original formula. Now we can rationalize the denom denominator if we want. So it's going to be 12 root 3 on 3, which becomes 2 plus, oh, it stops sw swinging up, 4 root 3. That's our first coordinate. So that's our y value. Okay. So we can write that out as root 3, 2 plus 4 root 3. That's one coordinate. And the last coordinate, and we, oh yeah, and we can also say that that one there is a local min because of the nature. The other one, let's plug that in, x is equal to negative root 3, so therefore y is equal to 2 plus 12 on negative root 3. We can see that it's going to be the same thing, but take 4 root 3, and we've got our last coordinate there. So we've got our coordinate negative root 3, comma, 2 take 4 root 3, and that one's going to be a maximum. Okay, so that's our answer there. I hope um, that made sense for example five. I hope you found the video useful. Um, and in the next video, we're going to be using our class pads to help us find key points. In particular, we can actually find um, vertical points of inflection using our class pads, which is fantastic. Okay, thank you very much.